it's time to sit back and relax with your favorite drink. And listen. As of 2021, Walmart is the world's largest retailer by revenue and the world's largest private employer, with over 2.3 million employees worldwide. The company operates more than 11,000 stores in 27 countries, including the United States, Canada, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. But there are a lot of weird stories of strange goings on in many of these stores, as we will see in tonight's 20 Tales. So here we go, on a tour. Walmart's strangest story. Valley Stream, New York. It was a typical Tuesday evening when I decided to run some errands at my local Walmart. I entered the store, made my way to the cleaning supplies aisle, and began browsing the selection. That's when I heard it. A faint whispering sound coming from somewhere nearby. At first I thought it was just someone talking on their phone. But as I listened more closely, I realized it was something else entirely. The whispering seemed to be coming from behind one of the shelves. I cautiously approached and peered around the corner. What I saw made my blood run cold. There, standing behind the shelf, was a man in a dirty suit. His skin was pale and clammy, and his eyes were sunken and hollow. He was muttering something under his breath but I couldn't make out what he was saying. Feeling uneasy, I tried to back away slowly, but as I did, the man's muttering grew louder. Suddenly he turned and looked directly at me. His eyes seemed to bore into my soul, and I felt a wave of terror wash over me. Without a word, the man began to shuffle towards me. I tried to run, but my legs felt heavy and uncooperative. I stumbled and fell to the ground, and the man loomed over me, his muttering growing louder and more frantic. Just as I thought it was all over, I heard a shout from somewhere behind me. I turned to see a group of employees rushing towards me, and the man in the dirty suit vanished into thin air. The employees helped me to my feet and called the police. When they arrived, they searched the store, but found no trace of the man. It was as if he'd simply vanished into thin air. To this day, I have no idea what happened in that Walmart. Was it a hallucination? A ghostly apparition? Or something even more sinister? I may never know, but I'll never forget the feeling of pure terror that washed over me that night. Dearborn, Michigan It was a dark and stormy night when I decided to stop by Walmart to pick up a few things. As I entered the store, I... I couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The light seemed dimmer than usual, and there was an eerie silence that hung in the air. I quickly grabbed what I needed and headed to the checkout. But as I approached the registers, I noticed something strange. The cashiers were all staring blankly ahead, their eyes glazed over, as if they were in some kind of a trance. But a chill ran down my spine. I tried to call out to them, but... They didn't respond. It was as if they were frozen in time, trapped in some kind of strange limbo. As I looked around, I realized that the other customers in the store were in the same state. They were standing still, their faces expressionless, as if they'd been put on pause. My heart raced as I realized that something was terribly wrong. I tried to leave the store, but the doors wouldn't budge. It was as if I was trapped in some kind of nightmare. As I wandered through the store, I noticed something even more disturbing. There were strange symbols etched into the walls and floor, symbols that I couldn't understand. They seemed to be pulsing with a strange energy, and I could feel a sense of malevolence emanating from them. Suddenly, I heard a faint whispering sound. It was coming from the back of the store where the electronics section was located. I cautiously approached the area, and as I drew closer, the whispering grew louder. As I rounded the corner, I saw a figure standing in the shadows. It was tall and thin with long, spindly arms and legs. It seemed to be composed entirely of shadows and mist. I 
was frozen in terror as the figure turned to face me. Its eyes glowed with a malevolent energy, and I could feel its presence suffocating me. Just as I thought all was lost, the figure suddenly vanished, and the lights in the store flickered back on. The cashiers and customers resumed their normal behaviour, as if nothing had happened. I stumbled out of the store, shaken and terrified. Well, I never spoke of the incident to anyone, but I knew that something strange had happened that night in Walmart. Something that I would never forget. Worcester, Massachusetts. It was a quiet evening at Walmart, and I was finishing up my shopping. I had picked up a few groceries and some new clothes for my daughter, and was eager to get home and relax. As I made my way to the checkout line, I noticed something strange. All of the other customers had disappeared. I looked around, but there was no one in sight. Well, at first, I thought it was just a coincidence. Maybe the store had closed early and everyone had left. Then I heard a noise coming from one of the aisles. It was a soft whisper, barely audible. I tried to ignore it, but it was too eerie. I slowly made my way towards the sound, feeling my heart racing in my chest. As I turned the corner, I saw something that made my blood run cold. There was a figure standing in the aisle, dressed in all black. His face was obscured by a hood, and it seemed to be muttering something under its breath. I was terrified. I wanted to run, but my legs felt like lead. I tried to call out for help, but my voice was barely a whisper. Suddenly, the figure turned towards me. I could see that its eyes were glowing a bright, unnatural green. It stared at me for a moment, and then disappeared. I was left standing in the empty aisle, shaking with fear. I couldn't explain what had just happened or why I'd seen the figure. All I knew was that I wanted to get out of Walmart as quickly as possible. As I rushed to the exit, I noticed that the store was back to its usual bustling self. Customers were shopping, the cashiers were ringing up purchases, and everything seemed normal. I couldn't shake the feeling that something had happened, something that I couldn't explain. I left Walmart with a sense of unease, and a fear that I might never be able to shop there again without feeling like I was being watched. Farmingdale, New York It was a typical evening in the Walmart supercenter. The fluorescent lights hummed overhead and the aisles were filled with shoppers pushing their carts and browsing the shelves. Something was off. Something that made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. I'd just come to Walmart to pick up a few things for dinner. But as I made my way through the aisles, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Everywhere I turned, I caught glimpses of a figure in the shadows moving just out of sight. It was as if someone, or something, was following me. I tried to ignore the feeling and continue my shopping. As I made my way towards the back of the store, the feeling grew stronger. I heard a faint whisper in my ear, and the hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. As I turned down an empty aisle, I saw something that made my heart skip a beat. The shelves were completely empty, stripped of all their contents. But it wasn't just the lack of merchandise that was unsettling. No, there was something in the air, something that made me feel like I was being watched. As I made my way through the empty aisle, I saw a figure in the distance, standing in the shadows. It was a tall, shadowy figure with long arms and legs and glowing eyes that seemed to pierce the darkness. I froze unable to move or speak. The figure stepped out of the shadows, revealing its twisted, contorted face. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. A creature straight out of a nightmare. The creature began to move towards me, its long arms outstretched. I tried to run, but my feet wouldn't move. 
I was trapped, unable to escape this creature's grasp. Just when it seemed like all was lost, the creature disappeared, leaving behind only the faint echo of its chilling laughter. I was left alone, shaking and sweating, unable to explain what had just happened. To this day, I still can't shake the memory of that night. I refuse to ever set foot in that Walmart again, convinced that it's haunted by something far beyond human understanding. Kearney, New Jersey It was a typical Saturday afternoon, and I just finished my grocery shopping at Walmart. I'd loaded my bags into the trunk of my car and was just about to drive away when I saw something strange. In the parking lot, there was a woman in a white dress, standing in the middle of an empty space between two cars. She was staring straight ahead with a blank expression on her face. At first, I thought she might be lost or confused, so I got out of my car and approached her. But as I got closer, I realized that something wasn't right. The woman's eyes were completely black, with no whites or pupils visible. I froze in my tracks, unsure of what to do. The woman didn't seem to notice me, but she didn't move or speak either. I could feel a sense of unease and dread building inside me. Suddenly the woman's head snapped in my direction. She started moving towards me. Her movements were jerky and unnatural, like a marionette being controlled by an invisible puppeteer. I turned and ran back to my car, fumbling with the keys to unlock the door. I could hear the sound of the woman's footsteps behind me, getting closer and closer. Finally, I managed to get inside my car and lock the doors. I looked out the window and saw the woman standing in front of my car, staring at me with those black eyes. I started the engine and drove away as fast as I could, still shaking from the experience. I didn't know what I'd just seen, but I knew that it wasn't something that could be easily explained. As I drove home, I tried to rationalize what I'd just witnessed. Maybe it was a prank or a costume, or maybe the woman was suffering from some kind of medical condition. But deep down, I knew that none of those explanations could account for the sense of terror that had washed over me. To this day, I still avoid that particular Walmart. Every time I see a woman in a white dress, I can't help but feel a shiver run down my spine. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was a typical Friday night, and I'd gone to Walmart to do some shopping. As I walked down the aisles, I felt a sense of unease creeping up on me. It was as if the store was too quiet, too empty. As I made my way towards the electronics section, I noticed that something was off. The TVs and computers were all turned on, but instead of displaying their usual screens, was showing strange, distorted images. I felt my heart rate quicken as I tried to make sense of what I was seeing. The images were dark and twisted, showing scenes of violence and death. I tried to look away, but I couldn't tear my eyes away from the screen. As I walked further into the section, the images became more intense. I saw images of blood and gore, of people being tortured and killed. It was like something out of a horror movie. My fear turned to panic as I realized that I was completely alone in the store. There were no other shoppers or employees around, and the only sound was the hum of the electronics. Suddenly, I heard a noise behind me. I span around, but there was nothing there. I tried to run, but my legs felt heavy, as if they were made of lead. The images on the screens began to swirl and twist, forming into a single figure. It was a dark, shadowy creature, with glowing red eyes and long, sharp claws. I tried to scream, tried to run, but the creature was too fast. It lunged at me, its claws slashing through the air. I felt a searing pain in my chest, and then everything went black. When I woke up, I was lying on the floor of the Walmart. The TVs and computers were back to their normal screens and there were employees and shoppers milling around. I tried to tell them what had happened, 
but they looked at me as if I was crazy. They told me I must have had an hallucination or a panic attack. But I knew what I'd seen. I knew that something strange and terrifying had happened in that Walmart. And I knew that I would never forget the experience. Manchester, Connecticut. It was a dark and stormy night, and I'd just finished my shift at Walmart. I was tired and eager to go home. Something strange was happening in the store. As I made my way to the employee entrance, I noticed that the lights were flickering. There was an eerie silence throughout the store. The usual hustle and bustle of customers and employees had vanished, and the only sound was the sound of rain pounding against the roof. I started to feel uneasy. I'd worked at Walmart for years, and I'd never seen anything like this before. I quickened my pace, hoping to get out of the store as quickly as possible. But then, I heard something that made me stop in my tracks. It was a faint whisper, a voice coming from somewhere deep within the store. I couldn't make out what the voice was saying. It sent shivers down my spine. I cautiously walked towards the source of the whisper, my heart pounding in my chest. As I turned the corner, I saw something that made my blood run cold. In the center of the aisle was a figure, hunched over and whispering incoherently to itself. It was wrapped in a tattered blanket, and its face was twisted into a grotesque expression. I tried to back away, but the figure suddenly turned towards me. I saw its face. It was covered in scars and bruises, and its eyes were dark and empty. I screamed and ran towards the exit. The figure followed me, whispering unintelligibly all the while. I burst through the doors and into the rain, but I could still hear the figure's whispers echoing in my ears. The next day, I asked my co-workers about the strange occurrence, and they had no idea what I was talking about. There was no evidence that anything had happened and the security cameras showed nothing out of the ordinary. But I knew what I'd seen and heard, and the memory haunted me for years to come. I never went back to Walmart after that dark and stormy night. I always kept an ear out for the whispering voice that lingered in my mind. Willow Grove, Pennsylvania it was just an ordinary day when I decided to run some errands at my local warmer. I walked up and down the aisles, picking up the items on my list, when I noticed something strange. In the corner of my eye, I saw a man staring at me. He was standing by the frozen food section, motionless, and with his eyes locked onto mine. At first, I tried to ignore him, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The man was dressed in a black suit and his skin was pale, almost like he was wearing makeup. He looked like he was in his fifties and his eyes were piercing and dark. I tried to avoid him by moving to different aisles, but every time I looked up, the man was still there, staring at me with his intense gaze. As I made my way to the checkout, I heard the sound of footsteps behind me. I turned around and saw the man walking towards me his eyes still fixed on mine. I felt a shiver run down my spine. The man stopped in front of me, and for a moment I felt paralyzed. He then leaned in close to me and whispered, You shouldn't be here. With that, the man turned and walked away, disappearing into the sea of shoppers. I felt a wave of fear wash over me, and I quickly made my way to my car trying to ignore the feeling that someone was watching me. Well, that night, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. I kept thinking about the man in the black suit and his ominous warning. And I tried to brush it off as a strange encounter, but I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to it. A few days later, I heard a news report about a strange incident at the same Walmart. Apparently, several shoppers had reported seeing a man in a black suit wandering around the store, acting erratically. When security tried to approach him, he vanished into thin air. Oh, I was terrified. 
I knew that I'd seen the same man, and I couldn't shake the feeling that he was something otherworldly. I never returned to that warm art, but I couldn't shake the feeling that the man in black was always watching me, maybe from beyond the grave. It's August, Massachusetts. It was a typical Saturday evening, and I was at my local Walmart doing some grocery shopping. As I pulled my cart down the aisles, I didn't shake the feeling that something was off. The store was unusually quiet, and there was an eerie sense of emptiness in the air. As I made my way to the checkout, I noticed a woman standing at the end of the aisle. The woman was dressed in a long, flowing dress, and she was staring at me with a blank expression. I felt a shiver run down my spine, but I tried to brush it off and focus on checking out. But as I approached the cashier, something strange happened. The woman in the dress suddenly appeared behind me, as if she'd materialized out of thin air. I jumped, startled, and turned to face her. Excuse me, can I help you with something? I asked, nervously. The woman didn't respond. Instead, she just stared at me with a vacant expression. I felt a wave of unease wash over me, and I began to feel like I was in danger. Suddenly, the lights in the store flickered, and I heard a strange humming noise coming from the ceiling. I looked up and saw a strange object hovering above me, a black orb with pulsating veins. I tried to run, but I felt like I was moving in slow motion. The woman in the dress was still staring at me, and the humming noise was growing louder and louder. And then, everything went black. When I woke up, I was lying on the floor of the warmer. I had no memory of what had happened or how I'd ended up there. When I tried to stand up, I realized that something was wrong. My body felt different, like it had been altered in some way. As I stumbled out of the store, I felt like I was in a daze. I couldn't explain what had happened to me, but I knew that something had changed. And I knew... I'd never be able to shop at Walmart again without feeling a sense of fear and unease. Hamilton Township, New Jersey It was a typical weekday afternoon when I decided to make a quick trip to Walmart. I needed to pick up a few items, and I figured it would only take me a few minutes. As I walked through the aisles, I noticed that the store was unusually quiet. There were no other shoppers around, and the only sound was the hum of the fluorescent lights overhead. But as I turned a corner into the next aisle, I felt a chill run down my spine. There was a man standing in the middle of the aisle, facing away from me. He was wearing a black hoodie and jeans, and his back was hunched over as if he were looking at something on the shelf. I tried to walk past him quietly, but as I got closer, I realized that something was very wrong. The man was not moving at all, not even breathing. He was completely still, like a statue. I hesitated for a moment, unsure of what to do. Then I heard a strange sound, a low rumbling noise that seemed to be coming from the man's direction. It was a deep guttural sound, like the growl of an animal. Suddenly the man's head whipped around, and I caught a glimpse of his face. It was contorted in an unnatural way, like something out of a horror movie. His eyes were black and sunken, and his mouth hung open in a silent scream. My heart raced as I turned and ran out of the aisle, not stopping until I was outside the store. I couldn't explain what had just happened, but I knew that it was something terrifying and otherworldly. As I stood outside the store, trying to calm my nerves, I noticed that the parking lot was eerily empty. There were no other cars around, and no people in sight. It was then that I realized something very strange was happening. I'd stumbled upon a glitch in the Matrix, a moment when the rules of reality had been suspended. Well, from that day on, I avoided Walmart at all costs. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about that store, that there was a dark force lurking just beneath the surface. And I knew that... I never wanted to experience a glitch in the Matrix like that again. 
Louisville, Kentucky. It was a typical Tuesday evening when I decided to do some grocery shopping at the local Walmart. I had a long list of items to pick up, so I knew I'd be spending a fair amount of time in the store. As I made my way through the aisles, I noticed something strange. Every time I turned a corner or moved to a new section of the store, I saw the same woman. The woman was dressed in a long, flowing dress and had long, tangled hair that obscured her face. I couldn't see her eyes, but I had a feeling that the woman was watching me. First, I tried to ignore the woman, thinking that maybe she was just a fellow shopper who happened to be in the same sections as her. But as I continued shopping, I realized that the woman was always one step ahead of me, as if I was leading her through the store. I had a growing sense of unease as I continued to see this woman. I tried to shake the feeling off, but it only grew stronger. Finally, I decided to confront the woman. Excuse me, I said, tapping the woman on the shoulder. I've been seeing you all over the store. Is there something I can help you with? But when the woman turned around, I was shocked to see that she had no faith. There were no eyes, no nose, no mouth, just a smooth, featureless surface. I screamed and ran from the store, abandoning my cart full of groceries. I later learned that the Walmart had a history of strange occurrences and was rumoured to be haunted by the ghosts of former employees. From that day on, I never went back to that Walmart, and I never forgot the feeling of terror I experienced while shopping there. I had no explanation for what I'd seen, but I knew one thing for sure. I never wanted to see that faceless woman again. Albany, New York. It was a typical Saturday afternoon and the Walmart was crowded with shoppers. People were pushing carts down the aisles. Children were running around and the checkout lines were long. Then something strange happened. The lights flickered and a chill swept through the store. The air felt heavy and oppressive, like something was weighing it down. First people didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Then they began to see strange things. In aisle six, a man reported seeing a shadowy figure moving between the shelves. In the electronics section, a woman claimed that a TV turned on by itself, displaying a static field image. As the minutes passed, more and more people began to report strange occurrences. A child reported seeing a woman in a long dress walking through the store, but when his mother looked, there was no one there. In the toy section, a group of teenagers claimed that a doll started talking to them, even though it had no battery. The mood in the store began to shift from bustling to uneasy. People whispered to each other, wondering what was happening. Was it a prank? A malfunctioning electrical system? Or was it something more sinister? And then, just as suddenly as it had started, the strange occurrences stopped. The lights returned to their normal brightness, and the air felt lighter. The shoppers couldn't shake the feeling that something had happened, something that they couldn't explain. The Walmart staff tried to downplay the incident, insisting that it was just a glitch in the system. Some people couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to it. Was the store haunted? Or had they witnessed a glitch in the Matrix, a moment when the rules of reality had been suspended? From that day on, people whispered about the strange occurrence at Walmart. Some claimed that they'd seen things that they couldn't explain, while others dismissed it as a mass hallucination. No one could deny that for a few moments, the store had been in a place of an unexplained strangeness and eerie happening. Charlotte North Carolina. It was just another day for me when I decided to stop by Walmart to pick up some groceries. As I walked through the aisles, I noticed something that felt off. It was a strange feeling, almost like I was being watched. I tried to shake it off, chalking it up to my own paranoia. But as I continued through the store, this feeling only grew stronger. And then, I saw something that made my blood run cold. There was a figure standing at the end of the aisle, just out of view. I couldn't make out any details, but I could see that it was a tall figure dressed all in black. 
and it was watching me. I tried to turn and walk away, but my feet wouldn't move. It was as if I was rooted to the spot. The figure started to walk towards me, slowly but steadily. As it got closer, I could make out more detail. The figure was wearing a hooded cloak, and its face was obscured by shadows. But I could feel its eyes on me, cold and malevolent. Suddenly, I felt a sharp pain in my chest, as if something was squeezing my heart. I gasped for breath, struggling to stay upright. And then, everything went black. When I came to, I was lying on the floor of the Walmart, surrounded by concerned shoppers and employees. I tried to sit up, but I felt weak and dizzy. As I was helped to my feet, I noticed that the figure was gone. I couldn't explain what had happened, but I knew that it was something otherworldly. It was as if I'd encountered a malevolent spirit, a creature from beyond the veil. I left the Walmart feeling shaken and disturbed. I couldn't shake the feeling that the figure was still watching me, waiting for another chance to strike. And I knew that I would never be able to shop at that Walmart again without feeling the cold presence of the supernatural lurking in the shadow. Naperville, Illinois It was late at night when I entered the Walmart. I had a few things on my shopping list and hoped to get in and out quickly. As I walked down one of the aisles, I noticed something strange. The lights were flickering and there was a strange odour in the air, like something burning. I felt a sense of unease creeping up on me and I wondered if I should leave and come back another time. But before I could make up my mind, I saw something move out of the corner of my eye. I turned to look my heart skipped a beat. There in the middle of the aisle was a doll. It was an ordinary looking doll with a frilly dress and curly hair. There was something off about it. Something that made my skin crawl. I tried to shake off this feeling and move on. But as I walked away, I heard a sound. It was a faint whisper like someone was speaking in a language I didn't understand. I turned back to the doll and noticed that it had moved. It was now facing me, and its eyes seemed to be following me. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine and knew that I had to get out of there. As I walked away, I heard the whisper again. This time it was louder, and I could make out some of the words. It was like the doll was speaking directly to me, in a voice that was both eerie and seductive. I felt like I was in a nightmare, and I couldn't wake up. I stumbled through the aisles, trying to find my way out. It was like the store had become a labyrinth. Finally, I saw the exit sign and bolted for the door. As I stepped outside, I took a deep breath of fresh air and looked back at the Walmart. It was like a different place now, like this strange occurrence had never happened. Well, I never went back to that Walmart again. I couldn't explain what had happened to me or how the doll had moved and whispered to me. But I knew one thing for sure. I never wanted to experience anything like that again. Chicago, Illinois It was just another ordinary day at Walmart. Or so it seemed. The store was bustling with activity, with people rushing up and down the aisles, grabbing items off the shelves. But as the day wore on, strange things began to happen. Items on the shelves began to move on their own, seemingly without any human intervention. At first, people ignored it, thinking it was just their imagination playing tricks on them. Then the store began to get colder and colder. The air conditioning had been turned up to full blast. It was still getting colder. People began to shiver, and their breaths misted in the air. Then the lights began to flicker. It started out as just a minor annoyance, but then the lights went out completely, plunging the store into darkness. People began to panic, fumbling for their cell phones to use as flashlights. But even in the darkness, people could see strange shapes moving around them. Shadows seemed to dance in the corner of their vision, and they heard strange whispers and murmurs coming from the darkness. As the minutes ticked by, the situation grew increasingly tense. 
people began to huddle together, seeking comfort in numbers. But the cold, the darkness, and the strange occurrences were beginning to take a toll on their nerves. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, it all stopped. The lights flickered back on, the air began to warm up, and the strange occurrences ceased. People began to leave the store in a hurry, eager to put the experience behind them. No one knows for sure what caused the strange occurrence in Walmart that day. Some say it was a power outage or a technical glitch in the store systems. But others believe that something else was at work. Something supernatural and malevolent. And some people, to this day, refuse to enter that Walmart. saying that they might experience the same strange occurrences that they did that day. Memphis, Tennessee it was a typical day at Walmart, and I was running some errands. I was picking up groceries, toiletries, and other odds and ends. As I wandered through the aisles, I felt a growing sense of unease. At first, I couldn't put a finger on what was making me so anxious. Then I noticed something strange. The store was nearly empty, and there were no employees to be seen. As I walked through the store, calling out for someone, anyone... Oh, there was no response. It was as if the store had been abandoned, even though it had been bustling with activity just minutes before. As I continued to wander through the empty store, I began to feel a sense of dread. I felt like I was being watched, like something was lurking just beyond my line of sight. And then, I saw it. A figure standing in the corner of the store. It was humanoid, but it didn't seem quite human. Its body was twisted and deformed, and its face was distorted beyond recognition. I tried to run, but my legs wouldn't move. I was frozen in place, unable to look away from the figure in front of me. And it began to move towards me, slowly at first, then with increasing speed. My heart was pounding in my chest, and I could feel sweat pouring down my face. I was sure that I was going to die, that the figure was going to reach me and do unspeakable things to me. But then, suddenly, it was gone. The figure had vanished, as if it had never been there at all. And then, just as suddenly as it had disappeared, the store was bustling with activity once again. Employees were restocking the shelves, customers were pushing carts, and everything was back to normal. I tried to tell myself that it had all been in my head, that I'd imagined the figure in the corner. But deep down, I knew that something had happened in that Walmart. Something that I couldn't explain. I didn't want to experience ever again. Warren, Michigan. It was a typical evening at the Walmart Supercenter. The store was bustling with shoppers, picking up groceries and household items. But as the sun began to set and the crowds thinned out, something strange began to happen. I was one of the employees, stocking shelves in the pet food aisle, when I heard a strange noise. It sounded like a low growling or snarling, coming from somewhere nearby. First I thought it was just a stray animal that had somehow gotten into the store. But as I looked around, I realized that there was no sign of any animals. The noise continued, growing louder and more insistent. It seemed to be coming from the end of the aisle, where the cat food was kept. I cautiously made my way down the aisle, my heart pounding in my chest. As I approached the cat food section, the growling noise grew louder and more intense. And then, I saw something that made my blood run cold. One of the bags of cat food was shaking violently as if something was trapped inside. My first instinct was to run, but I couldn't tear my eyes away from this bag. I watched in horror as the bag began to tear open, revealing a pair of glowing red eyes. Before I could scream, the creature lunged out of the bag, a grotesque mixture of fur and scale. It was a creature unlike anything I'd ever seen, with razor-sharp teeth and talons. I tried to back away, but the creature was too fast. It leapt at me, its claws tearing at my flesh. 
as I lay on the ground, bleeding and in pain. The creature disappeared into the darkness. When the other employees arrived to help me, they found no trace of the creature or any explanation for what had happened. Well, from that day on, I refused to work in the pet food aisle. And the other employees would often hear strange noises and see bizarre shadows moving throughout the store after closing time. Some even believed that the Walmart was cursed, and that the creature had been summoned from another realm by some unknown force. Despite numerous investigations and attempts to explain the phenomenon, the strange occurrence at the Walmart Supercenter remained a mystery, a source of fear and speculation for years to come. Don Woody, Georgia There was something strange happening at the Walmart on the outskirts of town. No one knew exactly what it was, but rumours were spreading like wildfire. People said they'd seen strange figures lurking in the aisles, heard eerie whispers in the empty corners of the store, felt an unexplainable sense of dread whenever they walked through the door. It all started with the disappearance of a stock boy named Tim. Tim had been working the night shift when he vanished without a trace. The police searched the store from top to bottom, but they found no sign of him. Then customers began reporting strange sightings. Some claimed to have seen shadowy figures darting between the shelves, while others reported feeling an icy chill in the air. The employees were the most affected by the strange occurrences. They claimed that strange things were happening after hours, once the store had closed for the night. Items would be moved or go missing altogether. Strange noises could be heard echoing throughout the store. But the most disturbing reports were the ones about the ghostly figures that had been seen wandering the store at night. They were said to be pale and spectral, with empty eyes that seemed to stare right through you. One employee, named Susan, claimed to have seen a ghostly figure while working late one night. Standing at the end of one of the aisles, motionless and silent, she could feel its gaze upon her, and a sense of dread washed over her. The strange occurrences continued for months, and the employees were becoming increasingly afraid. Some refused to work the night shift altogether, while others quit their jobs entirely. The store eventually closed down, with no explanation given. But the rumours continued to circulate, and some even claimed that the store was built on an old burial ground, and that the spirits of the dead were responsible for the strange occurrences. To this day, no one knows for sure what really happened at the Walmart on the outskirts of town. The stories continue to be told, and the memory of the strange occurrences still sends shivers down the spines of those who've heard them. Bedford Park, Illinois It was a typical Friday night, and I decided to do some grocery shopping at the local Walmart. As I walked down the aisles, picking up items from my list, I noticed something strange. The store was almost empty and the usual hum of activity was eerily absent. As I turned a corner, I saw a group of employees gathered around one of the aisles, their faces pale and tense. I couldn't see what was happening, but I felt a chill run down my spine. Curiosity getting the better of me, I approached the group and asked what was going on. First, no one wanted to tell me. Finally, one of the employees spoke up. Something in the store, he said in a hushed tone. Something that shouldn't be here. I felt a wave of fear wash over me. I'd heard stories of strange occurrences in Walmart stores, but I'd never taken any of them seriously. But now, seeing the fear on the employees' faces, I knew that something was wrong. I asked the employee what he meant, but he just shook his head and said he couldn't explain it. All he knew was that something was in the store and it wasn't human. I felt my heart pounding in my chest, and I continued my shopping, my eyes darting nervously around the aisle. It felt like I was being watched, like there was something lurking in the shadows. As I approached the checkout, I heard a strange noise coming from the back of the store. It was a low, guttural growl. It made my skin crawl. Suddenly the lights in the store flickered and went out. I was plunged into darkness, and I heard the sound of something moving towards me, something that was not human. I stumbled backwards, trying to find my way out of the store, 
but it was too late. Whatever was coming towards me was getting closer and closer, and I knew that I was in grave danger. As I closed my eyes and braced for impact, the lights flickered back on and the store was once again filled with activity. The employees were back to their tasks and the aisles were bustling with shoppers. But I knew that something had happened, something that I could not explain. And as I walked out of the store, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd encountered something truly terrifying in that warm-up. Indianapolis, Illinois. It was a typical Friday evening, and I was browsing the aisles of Walmart, trying to find the perfect birthday gift for my niece. I'd been there for about half an hour when I noticed something strange. As I walked down one of the aisles, I heard the sound of a child laughing. At first, I assumed it was just a kid playing nearby, but then the laughter seemed to be getting closer and closer. I looked around, but I didn't see any children nearby. Then the laughter suddenly stopped. Well, I shrugged it off and continued shopping, thinking it must have just been my imagination. But then it happened again. This time I heard the sound of a little girl singing. The voice was soft and sweet, and it sounded like it was coming from somewhere nearby. I looked around, but I still couldn't see any children. As I continued down the aisle, the singing grew louder and louder. I followed the sound until I came to the toy section. There I saw something. And there I saw something that sent shivers down my spine. In the middle of the aisle, there was a toy that was moving on its own. It was a doll, dressed in a pink dress, and it was singing the same song that I'd heard earlier. There was no one nearby, and the doll seemed to be moving all on its own. I felt a wave of fear wash over me. I'd heard stories about haunted toys before, and this seemed like something out of a horror movie. I quickly grabbed the gift I needed and hurried out of the store, trying to put the creepy experience behind me. The memory of the haunted doll stayed with me. I couldn't shake the feeling that something strange had happened in that Walmart, and I vowed never to go back there again. As I drove home, I couldn't help but wonder what other strange occurrences had taken place in that Walmart. I knew that something wasn't right, and I had the feeling that I'd stumbled upon something truly terrifying. Well, my dear friends, that's a little bit different from the kind of thing I normally do, but a lot of you have suggested I try this kind of format for videos, so... Here we go. Hope you enjoyed those 20 tales of terror. Uh, quite intriguing ones. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below the video. Um, I quite enjoyed doing this, to be honest. So this might be something I will bring into the channel a lot more in the coming months. But if you really hated it, then maybe I won't. So please do let me know in the comment section below and uh, we'll take it from there. How's that sound? Well, I'll be back again almost certainly tomorrow night with something more traditional, a standalone story for you all, because I know you do love those. Anyway, right, enough for this evening. It's Sunday, beautiful weather. Get out there and enjoy the late evening sun or whatever's going on in your part of the world. Till the next time, my dear friends, very, very sweet dreams and bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this story today. It really means a lot to me and to the author of the story, of course. Well, if you want to know more about me, I'm pretty much everywhere on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can download my music on SoundCloud. Um, I've got a Patreon if you feel like. Throw me a dollar or two. Very much appreciated. And of course, on Reddit, I have a place where you can leave stories if you want me to read one that you've written. Well, hoping to see you all again very soon. Till then, sweet dreams. Bye-bye.